Africa is known as the birthplace of human civilization and home to diverse cultures and traditions. In fact, the beauty of the continent has led many to believe that the biblical Garden of Eden is located somewhere in Africa. Huh. Now do you believe that? Before we start, please like and subscribe to our channel for more stories. Africa is a name that most people in the continent are so proud and African. passionate about, yet hardly know the origins and many people have wondered how it got her name. What is the origin? What is the meaning? And before it was called Africa, what was its original name if it had any? Although notable scholars and historians differ in regards to how Africa got her name, there are three major theories that are popular in the quest to find the true origin and meaning of Africa as a name for the beautiful continent. Good day, Africans. Something bothers me. Can I seek your wisdom? Go ahead, but don't be stupid or else. Whoever tells me how our continent got its name Africa Will a sip of my sweet palm wine. <laughs> I knew the Afri people. This theory came up when the Roman Empire first ruled the world and Latin was the main language. As can be found in the early writings of Greek and Roman scribes, earliest and most popular name by which the region around the northern part of the continent was known as Libya. In this region called Libya, early tribes that lived there were called the Afri people. Now, the Afri people are known to be wandering tribes and pastoral by occupation, expanding from Libya, Chad, Sudan, and Niger, and extending upwards to the Mediterranean Sea, which borders these northern regions, separating them from Europe. And of course, this often brings them in contact with the Roman Empire as at that time. Afri people much of the Sahara and the land beyond it was pretty unknown to the Romans and others as at this time. In those days, it was unthinkable to have humans living beyond the Sahara Desert, which is the largest desert in the world. The Romans regularly referred anyone from this region as people from the Afri land in each contact. Soon, the name was ascribed to anyone from that location. We know that the Latin Ka is a suffix which means terrain or land. So both words Afri and Ka were coined together as Africa. <laughs> this makes sense, doesn't it? But some historians remain skeptical about the veracity of this theory. Leo is asking how come a specific group of people would be named after a vast continent like Africa? Also, before the Romans began to call the area Africa, what was the original name of this continent? I don't think he believes this story. Perhaps, let's hear the second theory. This brings us to the second account, much of which depends on weather and geography. A school of thought believes that the weather around this area, which is dry and humid in nature, was responsible for her name. After all, the Roman Latin word for sunny or hot is apricus. So, whenever any Roman referred to anyone from that sunny, dry, hot and humid location, he says apricus. To support this, there were people who dwelled around the Mediterranean called the Phoenician and they had a word called afar, which literally stands for dust or heavy sandstorm, which was regularly used to describe people from that region. Over time, the name changed to Africa. Still on this second theory, in the aspect of geography, here 
the Indians regularly came in contact with the parts of Ethiopia, which is the Horn of Africa, and the surrounding environment during their sailing expeditions and referred to it as the faraway land. In ancient India, Apara was the word which literally means knowledge of the beyond, or the land afar, or the land that comes after. Nahi. Okay, I get it. This in itself is unlikely. The weather and geography of Africa varies from the hot temperatures of North Africa to the rainforest region. Therefore, using the weather and geography of a section of the continent to name the entire continent may sound ridiculous, but that is what it is. Two versions have been said, now we have a quest and a thirst for sweet palm wine. Let's hear the third, but first, we need to get a good sip before the palm wine becomes sour. The third account of how Africa got her name is believed to be connected to the rivalry between the Carthage people occupying the northern region of modern-day Africa and the Roman Empire. All this happened during the Second Punic War around 235 BC. In a series of bloody battles, Hannibal, a Carthage general, successfully used large elephants to charge the Romans during battles and often defeat or chase them out of their land. The Romans, who have never seen African elephants before now, were forced to skedaddle. Ah! Uh, okay, this placed the Romans at the disadvantage and on the verge of defeat. Then Scorpio Africanus, a son of a Roman general, learned this trick and stepped into the rescue by using the same trick. He organized his half-demoralized army and engaged Hannibal and his men in the Battle of Zama. After a protected battle, Scorpio successfully defeated Hannibal, who was the greatest threat to the Roman Empire. Scorpio Africanus won and in commemoration of his outstanding victory, named the conquered land after himself. Ever since then, the people of this continent came to be known as Africanus, which over time became known as Africa. Africanus itself seems like a Latin word. Remember those botanical names of some plants and animals that end with Africanus? Sure, we'll learn that in our biology classes. Are you saying Africa was named as a botanical name from Latin? I'd rather live with my palm wine. Hmm, no, that's not what we're saying. For some analysts, these three major theories that try to advance reasons why the continent is called Africa today seems to have been drawn from occurrences that happened almost concurrently but over a long period of time around the Mediterranean. The controversy still rages on. But one thing is certain, the Romans popularized the name Africa and its meaning is derived from the Latin language. Others may try to dispute its origin, but no one is ready to change that name in the nearest future, especially the proudest African. In case you have another account of how Africa got her name, please feel free to send us your comments. You can like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more stories as told from the perspective of the natives and indigenous people and we might share our sweet palm wine with you.